What's good, homies? We about to be litty, no cap. You found the Madden plug. Now hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell on. I'm about to put you on. Coin making methods, no money spent tips, budget beats on the 500 bands, 300 bands, 100 bands. Whatever you need, I got you. I got that daily Madden work. Now let's get it. You heard? Say, hey, yo, hey, yo, no money spent gang. We in a building in your snow. There, what is shaking, y'all? You already know what time it is, man. Holla at me. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell to frock on. We is all the way to frock lit, you dig? Anyways, if it's your first time on the channel, man, check it out, man. I'm about to show you a graph just like this. And I do this type of graph for every single promo. And the purpose of it is I'm looking for budget beats. So I take these budget beats, and on this graph, I compare them to the most expensive card, if not the best card in that position. So you guys can see that these budget beats do help out, man. I'm here to help you save some chicken, man. With that being said, man, Legends Week 17, a yo. This week has been dope, dope, dope. And the reason why I say it's dope is because with the Blitz promo and everything that's been going on, the market has gone down from 11 down to, I think it's about 6.5 per coin right now. So, I mean, this is beautiful. This is, this is official tissue. This is where we want to be, man, to be able to produce and compete online, especially with the cards that we are copping. So, let's get into it. They ended up dropping the homeboy. Where is he? Is he a 93? The homeboy, Too Tall Jones. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, Too Tall Jones is a staple in Madden. And because of the market crash and everything that's been going on, look, he's down to 370 bands. That's not a bad price, man, but... We have to compare him to the most expensive left end in the game. And that is going to be Javon Curse, man. Homeboy, he, homeboy went down. You know what I mean? He's down to about 600 bands. You know what I mean? So this is official. He's going to be the fastest left end in the game at 92 speed. So we're going to compare Tuto to Javon. We're also going to throw in there the homeboy. And, you know, Quiddy Pay, he's, he's growing on me. Okay, Quiddy Pay is growing on me. When the card first came out, I was like, eh, but we're going to compare him. Now, Javon Curse is 6'4", Quiddy Pay is 6'2". We're also going to compare two more, two other cards, and I think you'll see why. One of them is going to be Michael Strahan, left end, going for about 80 bands. We're going to compare him to Too Tall Jones, um, and we're going to throw in there one more. But this uh, this person is actually a DT, and I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. It's going to be the Terminator, all right? Terminator Aaron Donald, still going for about 270 bands. You already know, man. 270. Solid option. If you didn't get him for free through the AKA promo, man, solid option. Okay, so when we look at the graph, Javon Curse is going to be in blue, Too Tall Jones in red, Quiddy Pay in green. Aaron Donald in purple and Michael Strahan in the baby blue. Now, please remember, Javon Curse from left to right. Curse, 6'4", Too Tall Jones, 6'9", Quiddy Pay, 6'2", Terminator, 6'1", and Michael Strahan, 6'5". Okay? So, <clears throat> when it comes to speed, Curse, 92. OP, 92. I told you, he's going to be the fastest left end in the game at 92. Speed is ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is crazy. All right, Tuto Jones, 87, Quiddy Pay, 88, Terminator, 88, Strahan, 85. Now, 88 and 89 would be probably the highest that you're going to see these, these edge rushers. Um, once you get into, like, the, the, the 92s, 93s, you're looking at a huge budget to pay for these cards, man. So just keep that in mind, all right? 
Acceleration, Curse, 92. Tutal Jones, 91. Quiddy Pay, 89. Donald, 90. Strahan, 87. When it comes to strength, Curse, 85. Tutal Jones, 88. Quiddy Pay, 90. Terminator, 85. Strahan, 91. Block Shed, Curse, OP, 94. Tutal Jones, 92. Quiddy Pay, 90. Terminator 92, straight hand 92. Power move, curse 85. I think they did them dirty on that one. But 85, 94 block shed, not, not bad. Super, super solid, man. Two tall Jones, 90. You got Aaron, you got Quiddy Pay and Aaron Donald at 92. Uh, straight hand 90. When it comes to finesse move, Javon Curse, 92. Two Tall Jones, 93. Quiddy Pay, 75. And Donald, 92. Straight Hand, 87. Now, I know these are a lot of numbers to look at, but when you look at it and you want to compare it to Javon Curse, 92 Speed, 92 Excel, 85 Strength, 94 Black Shed, 85 Power Move, 92 Finesse Move. So, for me personally, I'm looking for an edge rusher that's going to have Black Shed, Power Move, Finesse Move, balanced out so when you look at someone like let's say aaron donald 92 block shed 92 power move 92 finesse move that's fire and then you look at the speed 88 speed solid i think we can all say that aaron donald turns the foot up you know what i mean but the reason why quitty pay is growing on me 88 speed 89 excel 90 strength is what i really like um 90 block shed 92 power move See the, see the 75 finesse move? That's where it's like, oh, come on, man. But then you look at someone like Michael Strahan, who's only 85 speed, but he has a 91 strength, 92 block share, 90 power move, 87 finesse move. That's pretty solid, man. For 80 bands, I actually might go back to Michael Strahan. 6'5", I think he's turned. Um, this Ed, too tall Jones, what everybody's going to love about him is going to be that he's 6'9". You dig what I'm saying? So let's just say hypothetically you take him, you put him at DT, and then you run, you know what I mean, like a like a a, a, a mid a mid read. He's gonna be he's gonna six nine. That's turf, man. You know what I'm saying? 87 speed is not bad. 91 excel is fire. 88 strength is solid. 92 block shed is fire. 90 power move and 93 finesse move. I like this two tall Jones card. I think if he was under 300k, I'd cop him right now. I think everybody should definitely have someone that's 6'9". You know what I mean? Like, this is lit. Now, think about what the possibilities you could do with him and 6'7", Ted Hendricks. You, you dig what I'm saying, man? Like I, like I said, I, I like the card. I always like two tall Joan cards. I'm fire Joan. Fire, fire Joan, man. But I'm not paying 370 bands for him. You know what I mean? I, I do anything around 280, 250, solid. 88, 87 speed doesn't doesn't hurt, man. You know what I mean? Don't get caught up with the hype. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's get into the next position. Uh, we're going to be talking about... Now, this one is a little touchy because it is going to be wide receivers. So, over the last week, I've been going over 92 speed wide receivers. Now, please keep in mind, they ended up dropping this 95 speed. Where's he at? 95 speed Tyreek Hill. Where's he at? He's not here. Oh, he's a 94. <laughs> Yo, I'm tripping. Yo, they ended up dropping this 94 speed Tyreek Hill. 1.5. I actually played against them last night online. Yo, the, it was the only it was the only wide receiver getting love on the field. I mean, this dude did not want to throw to anybody else. I was playing with my Saints team team. I was I still turned up. If y'all want to see the gameplay, let me know. 95 speed Tyreek Hill 5'9. In order for you guys, to, for me to compete, compare someone to this wide receiver, I have to go into 93 speed wide receivers. Now, I know over the last week I've been talking about, if you've been following the channel, I've been talking about 92 speed um, wide receivers. So I'm going to go over some 92 wide receivers that I think can produce for you. And then I'm going to compare Tyreek Hill to some 93 speed budget options. So you don't have to drop a milli, okay? My number one go-to right now would be Mac Hollins, 92 speed, 270 band, 6 full. Homie is lit, okay? Homie is lit. Now, I'm going to give you all 92 speeders first, but I'm going to compare on the chart only 93s. Some 92s that I would definitely cop, number one would be Mac Hollins. Um, number two for me would be... 
let me tell you something about this this Jimmy Smith card. This Jimmy Kiss Smith card go hard, bro. 91 spec catch, 120k, 6'1, 92 speed, fire jump. Fire fire. Okay. My go-to number two. That would be my number three. My go-to number one would probably be Michael Irving 6'2, 240k. I think he has like a 91 or 92 spec catch. Same thing. Fire fire card, man. Those would be my top three 92 wide. 92 speed wide receivers. Um, and then you got you got a couple different options at six foot. Well, there's one at six foot. That's gonna be Marvin Harrison. Now I've compared these guys over and over again all week, so I'm not gonna do it on this one. But if you've been following the channel, you see where these guys stack up. Okay, there's a Marvin Harrison six foot. You get him for about 180k. Solid option. But if if you don't mind height. Truthfully, if you don't mind height, there's a Tank Dell and a Mark Clayton. Now, Tank Dell is about 5'11". Mark Clayton is about 5'10". Both of these guys are 92 speed. You get them for about 120K. They're going to turn up for you. They definitely are. But I would go, number one, uh, Mac Hollins, um, Lightning, and Irving at 92 speed. Them dudes going to turn the foot up for you. All right, now, let's get into the 93 speed options. Okay, my number one would probably be um, Stephen Gilmore. And the reason why I'm talking about Stephen Gilmore is because he's actually gone down in price. He's down to about 360. If you honestly need someone that's 93 speed, I wouldn't suggest paying over 300K. That's my opinion. You guys are welcome to. I would cop him under 300K, but we got to compare someone to Tyreek Hill. And that's going to be Stephen Gilmore. And then we're going to also throw in there my man d who's going for about 318k. If you need someone that's 93 speed, I would definitely go further down, closer to 300k, which would be d, d Okay. And then we're also going to throw in there the new legend that came out today. We also got to compare him. My man Andre Reid. 6'2". Six, 93 speed. Okay. Now, he, I saw him for about 340 bands. You know what I mean? Like I said, for me, I'm a cheap dude. I'm going to count these dudes under 300K, if not at 300K. But you guys are welcome to, you know, do as you may. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to I'm gonna compare Stephen Gilmore, D-Jax, and Andre Reid to Tyreek Hill. And then we're going to throw in there Mac Hollins, who would be my number one um, 92 speed wide receiver. Okay? Let's look at the chart. Okay, so we got Tyreek Hill in blue. Remember, Tyreek Hill's 5'9". Stephen Gilmore in red at 6'1". And what I love about Stephen Gilmore is that he has a 93 spec catch. That's going to make him the highest spec catch wide receiver in the game. You dig what I'm saying? And he's only going for about 350K right now. Then we got D-Jax. Problem with D-Jax is he's 5'10", but you can't, you can't really complain because... Tyreek Hill's 5'9". You know what I'm saying? And then we got Andre Reid, 6'2 in purple. Sorry, my, my bad. Stephen Gilmore in red. D-Jax in green. Andre Reid's going to be in purple. He's 6'2". And then we got Mac Hollins, the only one that's 92 speed. But I like that he's 6'4". And he's about 260K right now. So let's take a look at the graph. When it comes to speed, Tyreek Hill, 95 speed. Hey, yo, man. Hey, yo, shout out to everybody that has a meal, because I don't. I'm not paying that bag. You know what I mean? I'm not. Give me the redux. I'm cool with that. Stephen Gilmore, D-Jax, and Andre Reid are going to be all 93s. These are the, the 93 players. And these, are guys, these guys are going for a little bit over 300K. You know what I'm saying? And then we got Mac Hollins, 92 speed. When it comes to acceleration, Tyreek Hill, 95. Gilmore, 92, Djax 92, Reed 93, Mac Hollins 91. When it comes to catching, Hill 90, Gilmore 92, Djax 90, Andre Reed 94. Hey yo, and then we got Mac Hollins 91. When it comes to short route running, Hill 93, Gilmore 92, Djax 92, Reed 90, and then Hollins 88. When it comes to medium route running, Hill, 92, Gilmore, 93, 
D-Jack's 92, and then you got Reed and Hanlon's both at 90. Medium route running. Hill, 94. Gilmore, 92. D-Jack's 93. Reed, 91. And Hollins 93. Stop playing. You already know, man. For me, like I said, I'm a cheap dude. I would go with Mac Hollins, 92 speed. I'm going to turn up on Carlos. You dig what I'm saying, man? Pray for me on the matchmaking. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but nah, dead ass though. Dead ass though. If I was going to buy any of these, man, I would definitely buy Stephen Gilmore. 6'1", 93 speed, 92 excel, 92 catching, 92 short, 93 medium, 92 deep, 93 spec catch. This card is fire. I can't wait till it goes down in price. I need to cop it. But like I said, he's, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's official. It's an official card, man. After that, I would probably buy, I like this Andre Reed card. 6'2", and he's going for about 340 bands. 93 speed, 93 excel, 94 catching, 90 short, 90 medium, 91 deep. That's fire. You know what I mean? And then last, because I don't, I'm not into the short dudes, pause. d Jacks 5'10", but he's closer to 300K. You know what I mean? He going to have 93 speed, 92 excel, 90 catching, 92 short, 92 medium, 93 deep. This car is lit. You know what I mean? But for broke dudes like me, I'm going with Mac Hollins. 260 bands, 6'4", 92 speed, 91 excel, 90 catching. 88 short isn't the greatest. It's mid, but we got a 90 medium and a 93 deep. I'm with it. I'm with all the smoke. You dig what I'm saying, man? Anyways, that, that Tyreek Hell card is OP, man. I mean, there's, there's no way around it. You know what I mean? But I ain't trying to drop a bag. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's talk about the last position in this release. Um... And that's going to be a kicker. I know most of the time I don't do kicker charts and all that, but I'm going to do it this time for y'all so you guys can get a good picture. Gary Anderson, 94 overall. He's going to be the best kicker in the game. Okay, that's just that's just what it is. The best kicker in the game. We got to compare him to some other uh, kickers so you guys can see exactly where he keeps up and what I look for in a kicker. We're going to throw in there Redux cards. Justin Tucker, 90 overall for 140K. You can get him, yeah, about 140K. And then we got um, Harrison Butker. You should get him for as low as 120K. We're going to compare these two dudes to Gary Anderson. We're also going to throw in there 91 overall. Martin Gramatica, 170 bands. That's not a bad option. But for my, for my lower chicken type of dudes, man, we're going to throw in there at 89 I honestly don't, it's a high, you know what I mean, 110k, I'm sure there's better options, but you can get it for as low as 80k, um, let's take a look at the graph so you guys can see where these kickers, <laughs> where these guys, I'm not, I don't do the kicker charts, but I'm gonna do it this time, okay, so, we got Gary Anderson in blue, Grammatica in red, Harrison in, nine, in green, Tucker in in purple and Blake Groupe in the baby blue. When it comes to kickers, what you're looking for is a median of kick power and kick accuracy. Okay. The kick accuracy is gonna be that meter. You see, you know the meter on the kicker, that that exactly how fast and, and you know situational it can be. But you also want to kick the distance. So you want high kick power. You know what I mean? But you want a good accuracy. You don't want to be out there, you know what I mean? Just kicking away and then you can't even control it. You know what I mean? You want that kick meter to be solid for you. So with that being said, when it comes to kick power, Gary Anderson, 95. Grammatica, 94. Tucker, I mean, uh, Butker, 90. Tucker, 89. And Blake Groupe, 89. When it comes to kick accuracy, Anderson, 91. Grammatica 86, Butker 87, and Tucker 89, Group A 85. Now, for me personally, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have Justin Tucker right now because of the price tag. 89 kick power, 89 kick accuracy. You see what I'm saying? So I want the kick accuracy and I want the kick power to be mutual. I've seen a lot of people with Grammatica 94 kick power, 86 kick accuracy. You dig what I'm saying, man? So you got to be able to control that meter. And I think that's what's really vital when it comes to these kickers. 
But other than that, man, you can't go wrong with Bucker. 90 kick power, 87 kick accuracy is pretty solid, man. I have Blake Groupe on my Saints theme team, 89 and 85. And there's times where I can't control that kick because of his low kick accuracy. You know what I mean? So it just really compares if you're good at kicking. If not, if you're not as good, get someone with a good kick accuracy. If you're really good, then you're able to control the meter. Someone like Martin would be, uh, Martin Grammatica would be dope for you. 94 kick power, 86 kick accuracy. I mean, there's abilities you could add to it to make it better. But I'm looking for a median. Someone like uh, Harrison Butker or Justin Tucker. You know what I mean? Overall, Gary Anderson, 95 kick power, 91 kick accuracy. Bro, if you got the bread, go get him. Because this, you know what I mean? He's going to be the best kicker in the game, man. Anyways, man, I hope that helped you out, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell to fuck on your dig. Oh,